Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. This is me, Ms. Aisha Manzoor, and you are watching my channel, Chemistry Solutions. So, in this lecture, I am going to cover the part of identification of ions and gases, where we are going to discuss uh, about the question number two from the ATP pass paper of O levels. Variant is 4-2, and the session is May June 2020. So, in this question number two, A part. A solution contains one cation and two different anions. Normally, in your exams, when you are going to get the questions, you basically have one cation and one anion. But here we have two different anions. Positively charged ions are called as uh, cations, and negatively charged ions are called as anions. The table shows the test a student does on uh, tests a student does on this solution. Complete the table. So there is a salt solution where a different tests are going to be taken place to a portion of a solution in boiling tube in a boiling tube add aqueous sodium hydroxide. So by adding aqueous sodium hydroxide, the solution of Fe two ions are confirmed. In the presence of Fe two ions, what color basically will produce? It will gives us green. Green precipitate. So why we have written this answer green precipitate because Fe two ion has a green colored precipitate. So we will write this in observation for Fe two ions we have green precipitates. Okay, the next part the salt solution uh, in a test tube uh, to a portion of its solution a test tube add dilute nitric acid until no further change is seen. A gas is evolved that turns lime water milky. So it's a very common use of carbon dioxide test of carbon dioxide gas, where you can write that the carbon dioxide gas, carbon dioxide gas is given off. is given off what does it mean what does it mean it means that the solution contains carbonate ions the solution contains carbonate ions so this is a test for the carbonate ions solution contains carbonate ions so the formula for the carbonate ions are CO3 to minus. Okay. Add aqueous barium nitrate, a white precipitate forms. So barium sulfate will form when we will add barium nitrate, white precipitate of barium sulfate will be formed. So solution, if we say that the white precipitates are of barium sulfate, when we will use this reagent, barium nitrate, always remember by using barium nitrate, if we will get the barium white precipitates, it means this is a test for the sulfate ions. So we can say that solution contains solution contains now the white precipitate of barium sulfate will form. It tells us solution contains sulfate ions. Okay, so you have to memorize all of these tests in order to attempt such kind of questions. Okay, B part. So in this uh, question of B part, calcium ammonium nitrate is a water soluble compound. Describe a series of tests and the observations to identify the calcium, ammonium and nitrate ions. So we have two cations and one anions which we have to identify in this reaction. So calcium and ammonium are the cations for both of these uh, for the identification of both of these two cations we will use aqueous sodium hydroxide to identify this okay and for the nitrate ions we have a certain aqueous sodium hydroxide along with the aluminium foil we will heat this mixture so first of all you have to memorize the identification test for these ions then you will be able to attempt this question okay now your description will need to explain how to prevent ammonium ions interfering with the test of nitrate ions. 
Why they are asking this question? Because for both ammonium ion and for the nitrate ions, for both of these ions, ammonia gas will be given off, which will turn moist red litmus paper blue. So how we are going to distinguish between these two uh, ions, which ion is basically completely utilized and which one is still there? So we are performing this experiment for this. We have to attempt this question. This question is about of, let me check the marks, six marks. So, the division of the marks in marking schemes are given like this. First of all, what we will do, we will dissolve the sample in distilled water. First of all, the major thing which we have to do, we have to dissolve the sample in distilled water, right? Test for cation, calcium ion, add aqua sodium hydroxide and warm. When we are going to add aqua sodium hydroxide, then after adding aqua sodium hydroxide, the white precipitates will be formed and which will be insoluble in excess. So this is the test which will confirm that calcium ions are present. So this is the confirmation test for the calcium ion. So next, if we are going to see the test for ammonium ion and test for the uh, nitrate ions. Now what we will do for this? We, very, we are going to do the test for ammonium ion. For ammonium ion, what we will do? We will add aqua sodium hydroxide and warm. After heating this mixture, we will get that the gas will be given off, which will turn moist red litmus paper blue. So this is the point which we have to memorize. So if we are going to get this test, we will say that ammonium ions are confirmed. Now the next text is of nitrate ions. So if we are going to think about the nitrate ions, for the nitrate ions, add aqua sodium hydroxide and warm in excess until no more ammonia is evolved. Use only sodium hydroxide if we want to confirm the presence of ammonium ion. Heat it completely. Again, we are going to add sodium hydroxide and heat it until no more gas is evolved or gas is given off. Then what we will do? We will use add aluminium and warm the mixture. By using this aluminium foil or aluminium, we will confirm, we can confirm the presence of nitrate ion. So this is a specification test for the nitrate ions along with the aqueous ammonia, ammon along with the aqueous uh, sodium hydroxide, we use aluminium foil or aluminium and warm the mixture. Then the gas which will come out, we will test it with the moist red litmus paper, paper and it will again turn the moist red litmus paper blue. This is the test which will confirm the presence of nitrate ion. Why? Because we have used the aluminum foil along with the sodium hydroxide and warm the mixture. So this is the difference between ammonia, ammonium ion and nitrate ions. So both are producing ammonia gas. So in order to confirm the presence of ammonia and nitrate ions, this, these tests are given. I hope so that you people have learned it very well. So in the next lecture, we are going to learn how we can identify more ions. So till then, stay blessed. Signing off, Miss Aisha Manzoor.